all put on and just do a quick haul um, of everything that we managed to get a couple of weeks ago from the jumble sale um, so it was just in our local town um, it was actually being run by a solicitors who had cleared um, an old lady's house on behalf of the family um, and everything was being sold and all of the proceeds were going to charity um, so we went in and had a little bit of a mooch um, my husband did buy a Hermetic Shiatsu Bliss foot spa that's way too heavy for me to lift um, so it is just out of shot but um, so he picked that up for, at first for eight pounds and we looked it up and it's worth about a hundred and um, so we went back to see if they had anything else that you know we we thought would be worth grabbing and we bought a lot um, so initially I went in and there was a lot of jewellery and I to be honest it, I just thought oh it just looks a bit like tap but actually when googling some of the brands and ebaying some of the brands I found that it was worth quite a lot um, we have only been listing this stuff over the past um day or so um we've only listed a few few of the pieces um and we've already sold one of the brooches for 40 pounds so there's way too much stuff for me to do it on instagram so i just thought that i would pop on and just chip give you a haul really um so we spent in total 200 pounds um in fact no we didn't we got out 200 pounds but we had 20 pounds change so we um, spent £180 on everything, um, we didn't have to pay anything to get in, it was, it was completely free. So in terms of the jewellery that we got, we got one, two, three bags of jewellery and actually we have actually given a few pieces away to um, one of our friends who... Um, sells on ebay and then the proceeds go to a charity in uganda so we have given him a few pieces to sell on and um, just because we we have so much really and again it's going to a good cause and um, so there's a real mixture of things um in here so the main brands that we've got are butler and wilson um, and then we have a few pieces from lee sands and then a few pieces no idea how to pronounce this. Suzanne Biontigal, maybe. Um. So just looking at the first pieces. So it's a lovely brooch here. Christmas tree. Um. That that this is actually a vintage piece. Um. Multicolored rhinestones in there. Again. We, we know very little about this sort of stuff um, but we've just you know gone with the comps that are on eBay um, a lot of the stuff is also brand new and sealed so like this one this is a brooch again multicolored rhinestones but this is still sealed in the packaging none of this none of this stuff was has been worn or has been used it's literally just been in her house and in a storage container um, we've got this necklace, which is again new and sealed, a green sort of stone necklace. That's quite delicate and pretty, actually. Um, the Lee Sands pieces, there's one here, and then I think we might have what, maybe one or two more. But this is the um, the set that comes with it. And then this is the actual necklace itself. Again, none of this is particularly our taste, but they, they are beautiful pieces and we can see why people would definitely wear them and collect them. And on here there's Mother of Pearl, um, Shell, and it's all made of natural um, materials. <coughs> um, and then we've got, there's just absolutely tons of it, honestly. Um, this is a Butler and Wilson limited edition piece. Um, I think it's their 50 year piece. It's a brooch and it's just a bit ooh, a dancing couple. Um, but again, that's new and sealed. And this 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 one on its own can go for 70, 80 pounds. Um, so, you know, 
on all of these jewellery pieces we are going to average between somewhere on the lower end of around 20 25 pounds but the majority of them are, are going for you know 40 pounds plus so i mean we only have to sell a few of these items um in order to make our money back um which is you know we we have actually um, already made about 65 pounds back following listing um a few pieces over the past day this is a joan rivers classic um, but again these are going for about 30 to 40 pounds and again it's it's really pretty it's a necklace with a pendant and then at the end of the pendant is a clock um it's only a quartz clock and it does just run on battery but again quite vintage and collectible so again that one should be you know, around 30 to 40 pounds this one I, I can't really find much about this online so I'm thinking it may have been a limited edition um, and it is a bag charm um, so Butler and Wilson did also do bag charms apparently but I think it may have been something to do with so breast cancer or cancer awareness because it's a pink ribbon isn't it so that's absolutely gorgeous and then we've got two Butler and Wilson watches um, they do look like that and they have an automatic movement and again, the eBay comps on these are looking at around, um, again, £40 each. So we've got two of those. Um, another Lee Stand piece here. Sorry, I'm not going to edit this video either because it's just, um, it's probably going to be too long. <laughs> again, another uh, necklace. This one is a butterfly this time. And that is just absolutely beautiful. That's one bag down. And then again, we did also take a few punts because I think it was just so cheap. And uh, we got these for a pound and they are they they look vintage and they have mar markings on the bottom of each base, although we've no idea what they mean. Um, and they're just really heavy jade um, figures and it's a matching pair um, but they are really heavy and again they do look vintage so for a pound I mean you couldn't really pass them up they are gorgeous so we got those for a pound um, and then more jewellery some more brooches a lovely hedgehog brooch with green eyes i'm really sorry the lighting is quite awful but um we just shoved all of this stuff in the office so we're just we're doing it in here another brooch this one again is really really sweet it's a humpty dumpty got two for the price of one which i didn't realize at the time so one doesn't have a box um but this is a sealed um, owl necklace multicolored rhinestones and then underneath was another bag charm um it does say butler and wilson 40 on it so i'm assuming it's their 40th anniversary edition but again that it's new and sealed so again 40 pounds upwards for that Oh, these are so sweet so they're brooches but they're it's a character called fred and he's just in a little car come on focus they're so sweet so we did have two of these and two of another um fred bear brooch so we gave the duplicates to our friend it's a really stunning pair of um clip-on earrings 
Green turquoise wavy colour. This is the other bear. Again, these packets are completely sealed, so that's why I'm not get getting them out. But he is really sweet. He's like a butler bear. That's a brooch as well. brooches this is again stunning absolutely stunning it's a bird multicolored rhinestones and another brooch this one is a christmas tree and it's really again really really pretty multicolored rhinestones come in a bag as well another this is gorgeous an owl brooch this one's sealed as well this one is they're all they are all stunning to be honest um, i can see why the lady collected them this is just a pearl and rhinestone dragonfly brooch it's just a pity that she didn't wear half of it And then a stunning butterfly brooch. And oh, this is another of the butler bear brooches. And, and then there were just a little, uh, sorry, a few little miscellaneous bits. Um, so this is this. These don't have boxes. But this is a Suzanne Biotin Biontagard. Um, this is a Suzanne Biontagard necklace. Shame these just don't fit tangled here. There we go. It's on a gold tone chain. So you can actually wear this as a necklace, or it does have a clasp. On the back for you to you uh, wear it as a brooch. Just a, I think it's a bunch of grapes. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that's that's stunning. And then we have a, I think it's Pacini or Puccini. Puccini. Um, little bird brooch. And then we have this, which was quite a surprise actually. Um, it's a partridge in a pear tree brooch. It's really, really pretty. Perfect for the Christmas season coming up. But it's a Kirk's Folly. I'm not sure that didn't mean anything to me but I looked at eBay comps and these are going for about 60 to 70 pounds um, so yeah I mean it doesn't have a box so that may affect the price a little bit but when you know we've paid on average two to three pounds a piece on these um, I mean did we even pay that I, I, I really honestly don't know. Um, we haven't actually counted the amount of pieces that we've got. Um, yeah, so maybe it, it, on average two to three pounds. Um, I mean, sixty to seventy pound return, or even you know a even a twenty to thirty pound return, we'd be happy with. So, and then the final bag of jewellery. So we got only a couple of the Suzanne Biontagard bits. Um, this is a brooch. Is an apple. And then the second piece that we got of hers is another brooch. This is this is lovely actually. It's a watering can with multicolored flowers popping out the top. So I think those are the only only two bits of hers that we've got. Um, and then the final Butler and Wilson bits. This is new and sealed and it is stunning. 
I'm not sure if it's even going to do it justice on camera. Probably not, actually. And so it's an owl, so it's a, obviously, rhinestone owl. With an amber-coloured stone in the eyes. Um, I will try and take close-ups of everything and pop them on my Instagram. But, I mean, this video is just going to be too long to do on, on Instagram. Um, these are bigger necklaces, so this is... And again sealed this floor with butterflies and these would actually make lovely gifts as well I'm sure my niece or my my mum would love something like that so this is a real statement piece look at the, the shine on that it's amazing that's also again this is all Butler and Wilson now So this, is, this doesn't have a box, but it is a vintage Butler and Wilson brooch. Just a duck, tiny little duck with an umbrella. That's cute. And this is another bag charm and I believe is a kingfisher. Multicoloured. This one shocked me because... Um, it's a just a solid jade bracelet, but one on eBay with the exact same box has sold for £75. Um, so, I mean, don't get me wrong, again, it's it's really, really heavy um, and completely jade stone. Um, but, yeah, that, that just surprised me. So, we've got, we've got that one as well. And then another statement necklace. Again absolutely gorgeous these pieces are very very delicate as well and these pieces are actually going for about 100 pounds plus so i mean that's more than half of our money back on one piece of course they've got to sell but um you know i think we'd be happy to just accept a, a lower price and get it gone and get the the profit in rather than sit sit on it for a while and you know get the top top price so this is another necklace again just a three tier just a gorgeous green green sparkly shimmery stone i'm not going into much detail because um, again we'd be here forever and i don't i don't want to bore you so this is another necklace that's sealed. <clears throat> and then there is one more. One more necklace. So those are again sealed and it's the same as the other butterfly and floor necklace, but this one is um multicolored rather than just plain gold. So that's all of the jewellery that we got. Um what do I move on to next? So I also got quite a few beauty products. Um, so I got these ones for a pound each. So again, brands I've never heard of before. Gatineau Paris, if I'm saying that right. The seals are still on the lids, so they are brand new. This one is the Comforting Lily Cleanser. And then we have two um, gentle eye makeup removers. I paid a pound each. I did also have a toner. Um, we listed all of these again and one sold within 24 hours for £25 so and then I have a whole bag full of this brand SBC um, and I think I think this might be a QVC brand I'm not sure um, but I think we have these um, listed for around around eighteen pounds, something like that, and I paid ten pounds for this whole bag, so that's less than fifty pence each. So we've got the body moisturisers. Again, I'm not going to bore you and go into too much detail. We've got collagen hand and body lotion, vitamin 
ACE skincare gel. Um, again, another skincare gel, but I'm, I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, another one of those. So again, these will be really easy multi listings as well. And they can just sit there and hopefully just just tick over quite nicely. Again, even if we just get even between five and ten pounds each. Um, although they are worth more than that when you're paying less than 50p for something. Um, cucumber skincare gel, collagen cleanser, another collagen hand and body lotion, pure honey and almond bath and shower cream, aloe vera spritz. I could keep that on actually for when I've given birth. It does say soothing and cooling on it so... Um, a lavender bath and shower cream, cucumber skincare gel, another vitamin A, C, E skincare gel, more collagen bath and shower cream, um, vitamin E skincare gel, another collagen skincare gel. Uh, super fruits, raspberry and cranberry brightening skincare gel. So it's all all the same range, all the same kind of line. It's all skincare gels, bath and shower creams, and then there is this Liz Earl Super Skin Moisturiser as well. That was also in with the ten pounds. Um, so yeah, so everything was less than fifty pence each, which was. A great bargain um, and again I have I've only listed one or two of these but we are going to be on a bit of a mission um, over the next few days <laughs> listing all of this um, so yeah and then we've got a Emma Bridgewater radio and um, again this still has the pulley thing in the back and looks to be brand spanking new. This was actually just in a box, it wasn't out on a table. Um, and I said, can I be really annoying? And before you've even got that out of the box, can I have it? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's the really pretty floral print and I paid five pounds for this. Um, stupidly, I didn't ask her because I just whipped it out of the box. I didn't ask her if she had the aux cable or anything for it. So I think we might have to buy one of those um, or just sell it as it is and take a little bit less. But I mean, again, that, that's fine if we have to do that. Um, handbags. I've got three handbags. This one, they're all brand new with tags. This one is a um, completely suede bag by Beth Terrell. Little washable suede and it's in this dark green suede and it does have three compartments and then the other two are Tommy and Kate so they're both genuine leather and again brand new with tags so just a baby cream shoulder bag and then this one's gorgeous just a handbag again brand new with tags and genuine leather and inside you've got all of the, the stuffing um, but yeah that's really really nice and I paid um, five pounds for the three and um, I should be looking to get around 30 to 40 each um, these were actually gifted to me because the lady saw that I was pregnant um, and they are just little um, teddy bear figurines but on the bottom when we got home we had a look at the brand and it's Goebel Germany um, now Goebel can be quite expensive especially the older pieces that you get I'm not sure of the age of these exactly but I have looked on eBay and um, in terms of solds I'm not too sure um, but there is only one other 
um, listed and they are listed for £80 each. So I mean, that doesn't mean that that's, that's what they're going to, going to sell for. Um, but I mean, if there's little competition on the market, then we can price maybe just below that. And hopefully ours will be a bit more appealing. I might do a couple of listings for these. I might do a listing um, for the three of the set and then individual listings for each. I also got a sealed Russell Grant um, Astro tarot pack this was actually the first thing that i bought um i paid two pounds for this and new and sealed they're going for around 25 um, i also bought this star wars episode one um 2000 collective edition um calendar i paid a pound for it it is only worth about eight pounds um so not as great but i mean i got it while it was there because it just looked cool um, a couple of pairs of shoes. Um, the brand is Batula, which actually I didn't know was um, like a side brand of Birkenstock. So I've got two pairs. Again, they are brand new, completely unused. Um, these are a size seven. Um, and then these are brand new with tags um, and more of a Birkenstock look actually um, but I paid a uh, pound each paid a pound each for these I think um, and each I think they're going for anywhere between £30 and £50 so Um, and then I've got this camera for £3. It's a Canon uh, Ike Ixus Summer camera. Um, and then inside, again, everything is brand new. Um, so this is the camera. And then one of the bits are completely sealed, even the original battery is still sealed um, again I have done a tiny tiny little bit of research um, and the only other one listed at the moment is listed pre-owned for 65 so again if we undercut them by by a little bit then hopefully ours will be more appealing um, and then we did get some vintage Christmas decks so these ones I I just liked the look of them so they are stunning. Christmas season is season is coming upon us. They are all glass. And there's little Santas, little um I can't actually speak candy cane, Santa, Christmas tree, polar bears, snowmen. They are just stunning. Oh someone has just fallen out. So I I just just got them because I thought they were gorgeous but then when we got them home Paul looked underneath of the top and it's Thomas Pacioni Classics 2004 collection 30 years I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that um so again we had a look at comps on eBay and did a bit of research and I mean if you get the bigger sets they can go for literally hundreds of pounds um, but this set we should be able to get at least 60 to 80 for, um, which, which is lovely. Um, these ones, I'm not sure if they're vintage, vintage or not, but I just got them because they were absolutely stunning. So there is a Santa Claus. In fact, if I just hold up the box, there's a Santa Claus here. Gingerbread house, soldier, Christmas tree, and a snowman. And I mean, they are stunning just on their own. But, but when you get them out, they open up. Oh, they're so 
this to open. They do open. Ah, open the wrong side, that's why. They open up, there's a little scene inside, and if you wind, I'm not going to do it because it will play forever. Um, if you wind up the bottom, then it plays a tune, and I just thought they were absolutely amazing. And if they don't sell, then I'll keep them because they're just, well, I think they're amazing anyway. But they had loads of Christmas decorations, and honestly, I wish I'd have just bought it all because they did have bigger sets of these. Um, but obviously at the time I didn't know what they were or how much they were worth. I should have I should have researched while I was there, but you know what jumble sales are like. They're just absolutely manic. You just have to grab what you can. Um, so yeah, I wish I wish I bought more. I wish I'd just bought everything to be honest. Um, but hindsight's a great thing. And we are really happy with what we got. So and then we got Again, these, they had multiple boxes of these, and I wish I bought more because I paid a pound. Um, and after doing more research, so the stands, again, are completely glass, and it's a set of two, and then the ornaments hook on like this. And we were researching these for quite a while um, the other night, and the only thing that we could find were that they're traditional Polish decorations, and the glass ones again can be worth quite a bit of money i mean the eggs on the own can go for 30 40 pounds and um, some of them so more research is going to be needed but the research that we have already done that that is all we've managed to find so far but i mean even at, just as a set you know a pound for those i should have just bought them all <laughs> so they will uh, especially as it's coming up to christmas as well now is the time um, and then I bought some vintage Christmas crackers as well. Set of six. Just really pretty. And like I said, if if not, none of it sells, then I'll keep it because I mean it was so glum and cheap. Um, and then we did have we well we did get a load of clothes. Um, so we got three or four bags full, which are in the other room, in, in my other room. Um, brand new with tags. Oh, sorry. Um, brand new with tags, um, Kim & Co, Michelle Hope, um, Beth Terrell, the same brand as this bag. Um, leather and suede skirts, trousers, jackets. Um, uh, what else? I'm, I'm not sure, but they're all plus size, so they're all 16, 18, 20. Um, they're all brand new, um, all with tags, all, all all with tags or either in um, still their sealed packaging. So I got all of the clothing for a pound each. Um, and like I say, I filled three or four bags. So, I mean, the minimum that those pieces are going to go for after looking um on ebay at, at the comps are 15 to 20 pounds minimum so i mean i think we we did really really well i'm really happy with what we got actually um and although we kind of bought blindly um i'm really happy with the results so yeah so now just to list it all um but yeah i hope you enjoy seeing the items that we got like i said i just wanted to make a video um, just so that we could show everything briefly um, if you want to see anything in more detail then just leave me a comment or message me on Instagram um, but I'll try and put um, more pictures of the jewellery up close because I know the lighting in here is rubbish um, so I'll try and put more pictures of the jewellery items up on my Instagram uh, for you to have a look at closely if you see anything that you like then just let me know um, but yeah other than that, thank you for watching. Bye.